Hey guys, welcome to the start of our new series where we are going to be playing Argentina in the popular demand mod. So guys, why are we playing Argentina in the popular demand mod and not in the regular Victoria 2 vanilla? Well, it's because I kind of like in regular Victoria 2, especially for nations that are not European and are not a part of the, the beginning 16 nations. They usually get shafted for events, and Argentina, while technically a part of the 16 nations, is at like the very low end of the 16 nations that you should that usually get events. And so they don't usually get that many events, and they aren't really that interesting in Victoria 2, you know, vanilla. But in this game, they are they are really interesting to play as because you have all these new events. Let's let me show you all these new events that you can do. The telegraph line, Ungi, you know, just all this, the formation of the school of the military, Algovian, the open door policy, I mean there's a lot more you can do in this. Um, plus I believe that the fact that you can, um, I do love the popular demand, you know, economy rating and all that kind of stuff, it's, this is a very fun mod. So, anyways, that's a brief explanation of why I chose this game to play as, and we're gonna begin the game right now as soon as I establish what I'm gonna do in the beginning terms which is I'm gonna get freedom of trade because we have to get freedom of trade for my national focuses I'm gonna be getting mostly I'm gonna to go to clergy strategy let's go clergy man because I gotta I gotta get that uh, points I gotta get those points going because since I am technically an uncivilized nation a civilized nation technically to European powers I'm probably uncivilized because I'm not quite as high class as them uh, I have to get my, I have to make sure my reading and my literacy is up to max, so we're going to have to be dealing with that. In terms of economy for a little bit, I'm probably going to have to be taxing all my people to the utmost. This is usually the part where I usually have to cry and complain, but it's really not much I could do. Um, tariffing, not really much I could do. I'm probably not going to tariff too much because I don't want to kill everyone yet. And, yeah. Um, yeah, that's basically my opening moves and also to declare, wait. Wait, I have to get my troops in position. We're also going to declare war on Paraguay. Why declare war on Paraguay? Because we need land and we need population fast. Okay, so let's go have you guys go over here. And Paraguay have both. And since they're an easy target for all of us to take on, I think they're going to be the easiest. All right. But we need to make sure, what we need to make sure, though, is that they're going to hate us in a couple of weeks. So that's going to be good. Um, what else? Can we get an alliance with Brazil? Because I never, yeah. Sometimes, you see, you can sometimes get an alliance with Brazil, but most, most often than not, they hate you for some unexplained reasons that somebody who is in South Africa could, not South Africa, South America could tell me. Um, probably has to do pertain to that they are very closely related to each other. Well, not closely related as in terms of, like, culture-wise, but I mean in terms of, like, geography-wise. But I really don't know. I'm just, an I'm just an ignorant American, and we just make assumptions about everything. Like, all French people have mimes in their cities. Mm. I mean, out of respect, French people, I don't actually believe it. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Our first opening moves are going to be declaring war on Paraguay. Um, and there's a special way you can beat Paraguay very, very easily. And this has to pertain to a Grandmaster strategy I developed when I was originally playing this. Now, the problem with my Grandmaster strategy, and I'm going to point this out right now, is that I don't quite remember it all. That may sound bad to a lot of you people, but I don't quite remember my grand strategy. All I remember is that I did some things and somehow beat the entire AI in just a couple years and was able to conquer a lot of stuff. The first thing I remember you had to do was you had to make sure you conquered the main capital because this is where mostly they're spawning the men from because if you look at it, the population is literally just that one city. So if we conquer this, we basically stop their mobilization. After that, the, this this little guy right here, he'll be easy to take out. He's not even going to be a problem for our men. Once he's taken out, we basically don't have to do, you know, too much. We just have to spread out and conquest. See, they're already offering peace. Sadly, we don't want just one province. We want to take as many as we can. We're going we're getting to get Promo Chaco out of this, aren't we? Yeah, Promenian Chaco. Um, is it money? Oh, man. I believe, I think I was supposed to take Afro Paraguay. I'm supposed to take this region right here. So let's see, what's that region? Right there, yeah, because you have to take this region so that you can start, like, doing more stuff. Um, 
let's see, Afro Paraguay. Yeah, it's Afro Paraguay. Because Afro Paraguay has a couple of thousand people that you could use to help you with conquest. Now, what I wish you could do in this game, which I wish they would let me, is I could just annex them fully, but they don't let me do that. So it's kind of annoying. So I'm probably going to take 5.5 Infamy, which... Which for a Victoria game to, which is for a Vicky 2 game, that's not too bad, but it's definitely not to the point where I'd like it. And I'm going to have to spread out very quickly because my men, since I don't have good support, where is it? I don't have good, like, fielded troops, I'm going to have to, you know, spread out very quickly because I don't want them to all die yet. Okay, yeah, you're probably going to offer me everything I want. Um, let's see. Uh, we basically, if I remember correctly, we basically take as much as we can from this war. And yes, I gained like 16.5 infamy, but I'm not really going to be going to war for a little bit after this, so it's fine if I take this much infamy. Let's see. And I have 1.0 uh, attrition. That's fine with me. You're probably going to accept all my terms. Thank you. And I probably could now annex them. No. Well, I could take Formasa, but Choco, Formasa. Formasa might not be worth it, but... Should I, should I not? Yeah, you need to take all the colonies of these guys. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm racking up a lot of infamy the very first turn of this game. Like, 1836, I'm already at 21 infamy. That usually doesn't happen unless you've done, like, a magic conquest cause belly, or you're just plain unlucky. Which, I'm not unlucky, I'm just trying to conquer as much as I can from Paraguay. Yes! Okay. Yay, our lands returned! Keep our territories with the cores, return the rest. We will keep all that we have gained. So, as a result of the treaty with Paraguay, some of Argentinian lands are returned. We are, however, only entitled to those lands while we have claimed. Any others should, by all rights, be returned to Paraguay. Note, if you took Paraguayan co core provinces, which are not also your core provinces in this war, enacting the return option will give them back. Be careful. Okay, and, you know, this is what I like about this game. And this is why I love PDM, is because it actually gives you some vents like these that are just like, huh. You know, while it's kind of stupid and pointless because most of the players will probably choose this, it's kind of nice that they actually do have an option for that just in case you took too much. Yeah. I want all the land though. Because what I need to do is make sure that if I go to war against these guys the next time, I can instantly get them. Also, what we need to do is put these guys already into protectorate status. And there we go. That's the first moves of this game. Now I'm going to stop, stop with my... Um, Basically, I'm going to stop in my military. I'm going to stop production for a little bit. Yeah, you see what I mean? Get my military up and down and start working on my economy. So, now what we're going to do is look at what factories are being produced in our, in our land so we can start figuring out what we want to do. So, as far as we can see, there's an uh, Argentinian Megato Grosso uh, winery being made, which I'm fine with right now. I mean, it's a little bit early for winery, but... The fact we'll have that one point of industrial score will help our, will help us a lot to become the next great power as we just sit here and do absolutely nothing for the next couple of years. Well, shouldn't say absolutely nothing. I'm going to be trying to be working on an alliance with you guys, but yeah, we just, when they mean, oh man, oh uh, yeah, I forgot. This is, this is Victoria 2 PDM where insufficient relationship means if it's under 100, they don't form an alliance with you. So... If my calculations are correct, they should form an alliance with me now. If not, then we're, then we're going to have a tough time. So, El Edador de Pelpa. No. Butchered that Spanish. Should not attempt that again. Sorry, viewers, if I did. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, man. Bolivia is being attacked right now, too. Okay, so Bolivia's. Did the Bolivian Peru conk thing happen already? Wow, it did. Whew, that was quick. Okay, so I was expecting this to happen just a little bit later. So if if I'm caught off a little bit off guard, that's the reason why. Um, ah, shoot. We actually can't take anything in this war. Ah, oh, that stinks. But let me see. How much would this give us? Yeah, not quite worth it. If I wanted the province, I would really want to get is this one right here. Because it has a decent amount of population, and that would increase our depths by a couple, couple of thousand. Plus, I'd also get a good iron resource, which where's the iron right there? That's what I want, and it's not a part of the uh, home region. Yeah. Okay. 
yeah, I'll just, you know, it's still, you know, it's still the beginning of the game. Everyone's going to be picking on Bolivia, but the Peru Bolivian Alliance apparently ended the first turn. Which means, guys, it's now just up to us to just watch as we just kind of chill out and do absolutely nothing. Again, <laughs> I'm making that point very true. I'm doing absolutely nothing in the sake of doing absolutely nothing. So, the Peru Bolivian Co Confederation. The Confederation of Peru, South Peru, and Bolivia represents a threat to our interests. Its confederation is given time to solidify. They could easily become a new powerhouse in South America. And one that is no friend to Argentina. Thankfully, the signs of the confederation is unstable. The Peruvians, Trifon, the Bolivian leadership are given rights incentives that they might withdraw. If we act now, we could be able to stir our people against them. The PBC must fall, or we counsel and lose prestige. Nah. Uh, yeah, no. Yes, no. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Shoot. Oh, we become genderist. Emergency. We get the emergency draft. Uh, prestige. You know, we need a prestige, especially since we're an independent country. Yeah, sorry, people. That. The prestige was just not something we could back off on. So now that we got this, all we want to take from this war is a quick territory. That's it. I'm not going to be staying in this war to like, you know, completely fight these guys to the bitter end. I don't think I could fight these guys to the bitter end if I really must be honest with you. And yeah. <laughs> Seems like we're already at war. I didn't expect to be already at war. This is especially at like two turns in. We're already at war and we're already starting this conquest again and it's going to be a major, major fun. It's going to be major, major... Is that Chile? Yay, Chile! You guys can have whatever land you want. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to want to get out of this war as quickly as possible. So let's see. You guys, would you guys just give me my land? If you guys give me my land, we don't have to conquest you. Trust me. I just want my land back. Once I get my land back, I don't have to do anything. Okay. And apparently with all these like prestigious events that are happening to us, we almost are 15th world power. Now, it's, of course, it's a kind of a false thing because we're about to lose all of our money into this war. But, you know what? For the time being, we are 15th in the world. That means we are a second day power and a good one at that. Hail Argentina and our aggression of madliness. All right, so the Argentinian way, one... One, ours is a nation of liberty where every man is born with the inherent right to seek his own destiny. The possibility of prosperity lies within every man's reach. A recent report is a burst and a newspaper regarding acquittal of a man's popularity believed to be innocent has served to reinforce our people's ideas. Today, they walk a little more profoundly than before. I always knew this to be true. Yay, we become a little bit more liberal. Not sure if that's good. Not sure if that's good yet, but... Actually, that's probably not good now that I'm thinking about it because I don't need liberals yet. I want to make sure I control my economy. Because when I don't control my economy, I usually have difficulties with the, uh... Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. So, they finished. Apparently, Rio de Sol is about to be conquered. And I'm gonna probably gonna have to start worrying about, um... Peru, Bolivian people attacking me. But for right now, I'm just gonna slowly start moving into their space... Keep my men right next to each other. Um, you know, if we make this war go on long enough, I believe we could probably sneak in another province here or two. Let's see. Acquire core. Let's see. I'm already fighting for that. I don't know why I would need another release puppet. Acquire state. Ah, dang. They're all states. Rats. Okay, so no, I could not acquire any of this in this war. It's too much, it's too much infamy. Well, yeah, it's, I didn't expect, I did not expect this war to fire off so quickly. I expected it down the line. Yeah, universal voting, sure, why not? We could have universal voting. I mean, I really don't care. <laughs> um, and let's see, we have the Peru people coming after us. They're probably going to start building up their own alliances. Let's see. I just want this. If you give me this, I'm out of this war. I literally don't really care that much about whatever you guys are fighting over. Like, seriously. I just want to steal my land back. Once we're done with my land, we're done. I don't need anything else but my land. I also need to look at my administrative and holy moly, I have to get my administrative up in almost all my land. <laughs> oh gosh. And let's see. 
Let's see, our population right now is three is three hundred and eighty-five. Ooh. Not exactly where I'd want it to be at, but you know what, it is increasing, and that's good. We don't have some kind of swine flu epidemic, which always seems to sweep my nations. Education, okay. Education, we just got the education reform. I don't need to work down any more of those things. Uh, what we need to start working on is this right here so that we can start increasing our education efficiency and the other one which is right here. Those are the two we have to keep increasing and idealism. Because idealism, even in this game, is still very important technology. It is like one of the top technologies you need to get. And oh my goodness, there it is. The Peru-Bolivian Alliance. Luckily, they don't want to attack me head on so that means we could probably um they're probably very worried that my troops are like right there so we could probably finish up this siege they won't be able to unsiege any of this land or siege up any of this land quick enough which is what i'm kind of counting on is that they won't be able to siege up any of this very quick so then i can just move in and go take all the land i want yeah they don't seem to be they seem to be moving much faster at sieging than i am oh my goodness wow they're moving much faster than me at sieging Okay, there we go. You want exactly what I'll give you? Thank you! What? This is all about territory. We, we respect everything we gained in this. Okay, there we go. We treat our men. Get back to our lands. Yay! And that is how we won more land and went from a population of 300k to 400k in exactly two years! Yay! So guys, we're now a large nation. Or at least we're now considered a large nation. We're now 16 barely on the population scale in terms of what people think of us but you know what I accept it and from now on we're not gonna do any kind of more wars for like a couple years because that was vastly vastly more work than I expected to do in like the first couple weeks so Argentina and most likely Morato Gatso isn't actually a place that can actually support a factory yeah yeah that you you guys can't support a factory I don't know why you guys are even trying but Let's see, our clergyman have already got 200% over here. We move focus. Let's see. When you move down the next most populated place, which is Santa Fe. Let's move down to here. No, not capitalists. I need clergymen. Clergymen, and let's see, how much of our population is actually clergymen? We need about 1.8 more, and then we have enough. Okay? And then we'll be making serious we'll be making serious clergymen efforts, and then once we get all the clergymen, you know, again. If you guys want it, you guys can have it. I really, I'm not particularly, I'm not particularly against universal suffrage in this game, seriously. And one thing we have to do, decrease our men, decrease our men by a lot. And keep this going while our economy completely recovers from the massive amounts of stuff I have to do to keep us alive. So massive tariffs so that we can kill our economy and kill our people on land. And slowly start to decrease it over time. And this usually works a lot with this game. Ooh, no, 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 no. Don't go in negatives. Don't go in negatives. Don't go into negatives. 8%. 8 is usually good. I can usually keep an 8%. Holy moly, am I making a lot of money. Okay. We all happy yet? Okay, I think... This is probably what my economy is going to have to be at for a little bit. At least until I can actually stabilize and become a better economy. This is probably what we're going to have to be at. Which is fine. That means we produce... What do we produce in this world? We produce wineries, so that means our production of wineries should be just slightly higher than what it usually is. We produce 0.2% more winery than we did, which I guess I'm happy. Also, we pay all my loans. There we go. At least I want to pay off the Bank of Mexico. I don't like the fact we owe Mex Mexico money. That doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Oi. Um... And let's see, is there anything else we could do? Well, since we're not exactly a great power, we can't exactly go do a ton of stuff. But I guess we could just sit here. I mean, we really, we really don't have much else to do. Except just wait until, wait until a couple of events. Like, we need to wait until my infamy burns off so I can maybe go do some stuff with Uruguay. And actually, I need to annex the rest of Paraguay. Uh, and then we're also going to, um, let's see, would Chile accept an alliance with me? No, probably because of the infamy, yes. <laughs> it's because a lot of things in this game are dependent on that infamy system. If you are definitely unliked in this world, you are definitely unliked and they will hate you. Okay, let's do more of this. Okay. And let's see. Yeah. We have to get our... Oh, conservatives in Rio and Berto Elias. 
A group of Argentinian wealthy elite have gathered support in Burl A's, quickly turning all of our Burl A's into strongholds of conservative thinking, one that may ensure for some time to come. It is almost certain that should areas of policies turn into something not of their liking, Burl A's will be one of the farthest regions where we see trouble begin. They have not caused trouble yet. So, yeah. With that, I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the start of, I hope, a brand new series that will endure for a while. Um, we'll, we'll see, though. We'll see. I'll see how the re fan reaction to this is if is good or if it's bad, and we'll just go from there. So, I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.